Hey, it's your friend Jeffrey here. Uh, not feeling well today, feeling nauseous, weak all over, and I'm flaring up. Look at these bumps right here. So am I angry with my eczema, my allergies, and autoimmune problems, and being sensitive to everything? Am I angry that the rain is coming tomorrow and it just completely wiped me out? So in this video, I want to talk about being angry with your chronic illness and how I deal with it. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about. Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hit it, boy. It's Friday night. I'm supposed to post a video on Thursday. I've been feeling horrible for the last two days. I'm dizzy. My heart's beating funny. I don't even really have the energy to stand up. But am I angry? Eh. You know, I get this question a lot asking if my eczema makes me angry because it ruined my life and I'm gone 36 years where I missed out on so many things and um, now I'm behind. So I do feel frustrated. I do feel annoyed. A lot of times I do feel depressed, especially the last couple of years since I've been on the immunosuppressant psychosporin. But I don't really feel angry. Ow! Hey! Nothing? Are you nuts? Sure, Sam. <laughs> you really have got a lid on it, haven't you? What's your secret? Mellow jazz, bongo drums, huge bag of weed? I totally understand everything you guys are going through and a lot more. When you feel angry, you're justified. Eczema is the disease from hell. It just, it literally feels like you're being burned alive all the time. And the itching is so hard to deal with, I would always scratch myself until I bled because the pain of bleeding is better than itching. While my eczema is probably the top five most extreme, and yes, I'm you know, constantly scratching all the time and like my hands never left my skin. I was like trying to uh, scratch all over my body. I only have two hands. I don't really have enough hands to get it everywhere. And just the itching is just so frustrating and just so painful. Um, but in that same moment where um, I'm just so focused on where to scratch and what's itching, I also have my autoimmune allergy asthma disorder to deal with. Even right now, my airways are swollen. They're really tight. I don't know if you can hear it. I'm struggling to talk. Basically, my whole life I've had a nonstop asthma attack where I have to focus really hard on pushing and breathing and opening up my chest and getting air in and out. So between scratching, I am so focused on breathing that I don't really have much time to think about anything else. And um, if I'm feeling a little bit better or if I'm going out, I also have to pay attention to every little thing that's going on around me. If somebody has a cigarette or I got to pay attention to my uh, senses if somebody's walking by with perfume or animal dander or just uh, there's food that's being cooked like half a mile away I can smell that and I'll react to it so my attention is always so focused on the sensations of my illness whether if it's eczema and itching or asthma or allergy reactions to every little single thing around me like right now I'm sick because of the rain that's coming tomorrow. I'll react to things that's coming in the future that haven't happened yet. It's like I'm driving on the edge of a cliff. I'm so focused on every little thing that's going on around me. I don't have time to, you know, have grievance or anger towards other people or the situation. Right. It's just, ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. And if I do have that little bit of mental bandwidth, to think about something else, my mind doesn't go to being angry or even being frustrated most of the time because I do have so much to take care of and so much that I do want to do that my energy go towards that. So, you know, I would be scratching and peeling everywhere, but my mind would be on designing a graphic or reading my textbook and trying to catch up because you know, I was sick and I have already missed out on a lot of classes. So even though I wasn't technically homeschooled, I spent most of my days at home learning on my own. Learning and doing other things and having work 
was always a great distraction from my illness. My mind is always on something else other than the health problems that I'm facing. Downtime's the worst. And then <laughs> adrenaline leaves and your mind just starts to wander. I haven't thought about my family once tonight. Thinking about them now. Like all the things I'm doing, like working on fun stuff that I like to do, like design your video or studying so that I can uh, catch up or even get ahead for academic reasons. All of that stuff would help my situation. It might not help right now, but it could help later on when I have an opportunity or it'll just increase my credentials so that when I do feel good, I can get a job or uh, work on a project. You see, anger doesn't change anything. Quite frankly, everybody else has an interest in sending you to the electric chair. All right. You don't seem alarmed. But would it help? It doesn't make your life any better, uh, but the negative emotions will make it worse. So there's only a downside to feeling angry. Because I'm finding out so many things, my body is burning so much energy. And because I'm allergic to all foods in the world, I'm always malnutrition. So I have a very limited energy and not much awake time because I'm always so tired. And even less moments when I'm feeling well. So the time I'm feeling well is so precious that I don't have any time to waste. Ain't nobody got time for that. Like being angry or even frustrated is just wasting time that I don't have. And if you really feel like you've lost a lot, every moment that you have that's under your control where you can do something, even if you're sick, even if you're tired, but if you're able to do anything at all, if you're able to think clearly at all, you try to move forward towards your goals instead of wasting it, because if you do that, you'll fall further behind and you'll just get more angry about falling behind and then you'll fall further behind because you're just not doing anything productive. If you're angry and resentful, the anger and resentment will just add negativity to your life. It's not going to help you with anything at all. And even if your illness is cured someday, your life will be filled with challenges no matter what. Nobody escapes this. All of us will die. All of us will have to deal with uh, other challenges in our lives. Even if your illnesses are healed, you still need the mindset of a positive outlook and how to deal with adversity and what to focus on and what not to focus on and what kind of emotions you let out and what kind of emotions um, you just stay away from. Like your mind can only focus on so many emotions and thoughts at once. So it's not like, oh, you're suppressing your anger. If you're really into something, like I said, if I'm really into studying or if I'm really into doing projects, there's no mental bandwidth for negativity or anger. And you'll feel much better. It's not gonna solve all your problems, but you'll feel so much better. Four more days before I'm due for my next Dupilumab injection. It's been seven and a half week so I don't know if this flare-up and uh, just being weak and sore in every part of my body if that has something to do with uh, this Dupilumab withdrawal I guess just been a while so for all you Dupilumab eczema fans the next video will be about me stabbing myself again <laughs>